Yo, what up guys? Welcome to the video where we're going to find out about the Sanctum of Rebirth, which <laughs> is coming July 22nd. I was like, oh, I wonder if they're going to mention the date. They did. It's there. It's J July 22nd. We will be getting the Sanctum of Rebirth, which is pretty damn soon, man. That's like, what? Well, not, not, not this next week, but the week after, right? So it's pretty exciting like we're close we're close to the release date of, of some pretty awesome content so we have a few things here we're going to go through like the requirements and then um a bit of extra information and like jagex said and that um or like like huli said there's going to be less information probably in this one than we used to to keep it exciting but either way it's still going to be worth going through and seeing what there is and obviously there's like you know there's a decent amount of stuff here then we can make a quick discussion video on anyway. So, Sanctum of Rebirth, our first ever boss dungeon, arrives on July 22nd. Of course, we just went through that. Prepare, prepare for the Sanctum of Rebirth with a new underworld, hard and elite area tasks arriving the week before. Um, release on July 15th. So, uh, July 15th, we are getting the um, hard and elite area tasks for the City of Um, which a lot of people have been asking about anyway. Requirements to play. Um, this is the actual quest. I want to say, is this requirements to do this? Or, um, but here we go. So, access the Sanctum of Rebirth. You will need to complete a short quest that will be launched with the Sanctum. To access the quest, you need to have done the following. So, you have to have completed Necromancy, which is like the, the tutorial. This is the intro to, um, yeah, there. The, no requirements. This this is just talking to death, basically, um, and doing the very first thing where it talks about rituals and stuff. So, there's basically no requirements. Um, <laughs> at all except for the quest of course the sanctum of rebirth quest which is very likely going to be introducing the fight itself because they seem to be doing this since uh, necromancy launched into the game where they're adding a quest with every boss that comes out where, where in, in the quest you're actually fighting like an easier version of the boss they said oh well they didn't say jagex didn't say but um a j mod i can't remember exactly which j mod it was said on the rs guys uh, stream that this actually boosts engagement for quite, um, the, the the bosses anyway. So I'm sure they'll probably do this like just from now on. It just makes sense to do it if, if, if that's what it does. Moving on, it says venture into the Sanctum. Journey into the depths of the underworld with RuneScape's first boss dungeon, the Sanctum of Rebirth. Uh, governed by a mascot and her loyal beings, the Sanctum of Rebirth once stood as a sacred temple where many souls would go uh, to face their final judgment. New whispers from the shadows suggest this temple may still be active. Discover the entrance to the sanctum and confront a mascot's powerful soul devourers, Vermix, okay, Kazalum, and Redacted. Okay, so we don't we don't know this one yet, but we have Vermix and Kazalum, uh, or Kazalum, or something like that. But either way, very cool, and they've hidden one of the names as well. So. Nice. And for those of you that didn't know, um, are they about to talk about it anyway? I was going to say, it's like when they say boss dungeon, it's not like an elite dungeon where there's like all the little trash mobs. It's just boss after boss after boss. But they're going to talk about it now anyway. The first boss dungeon. Face three bosses back to back. Um, no mobs, just pure bossing action. Either solo or up to three other friends. So four in total, right? Uh, and all get loot. So this is good. This is like um, Raksha, how that works. Um, how else? Like, like, like. Uh, <laughs> Vorkath, how you all get a loot as well. This is good. This is like a new practice they've been doing with their like group stuff, and it's so much better. So, so much better. It doesn't feel bad like Zamorak, right? It doesn't feel bad to be able to go into a fight with your group or friends and do this. This means when it comes out on the day, I'm going to try and solo first because it's going to be fun and good for content, right? And then eventually we just do it in a group all day on stream. Like it's going to be super fun. And whenever I am streaming in the future, if anyone wants to join we can just join because it doesn't it doesn't change the um the loot you're still going to get loot so it's, it's definitely the best way to do it for sure like i'm so glad to start doing this venture into the sanctum on normal mode with a new respawn based on death mechanic a new respawn based death, me death mechanic even or showcase your mastery on hard mode so this is this bit here the, the new thing they were talking about it they didn't want it to be like if you die, you, you lose the whole thing. The Sanctum of Rebirth are designed to be mechanically challenging, but accessible through a unique resurrection mechanic for normal difficulty. Uh, okay. Uh, mechanically challenging to me is exactly what I want to hear in a boss fight. Like, the, we don't, in hard mode even, we don't need the boss to just hit us for 10k. It needs to be mechanically difficult in the sense that you're not just going to get punished for, like... I don't know, missing one key press or not having insanely high damage or whatever. But having the mechanics be like actually something you have to process and deal with sounds like what, what RuneScape is missing at the moment. 
So hopefully that's actually what it is. Upon death in normal mode though, rather than returning to death's office, you'll be resurrected on the spot, but with significantly reduced damage for a short time as you shake off your resurrection sickness. Um, these unique powers of the Sanctum provide the perfect opportunity to learn the fight and hone in on your execution. You'll still need some skills to succeed in the Sanctum, but with a little uh, ten tenacity, sorry, you can stay in the fight. Nice, good. I mean, that's good. That sounds perfect. It, it's good. It doesn't punish newer, uh, newer players or um, like people who aren't at the top few percentage of PVMers too much as well with the normal mode. I do kind of hope they may be about to talk about it right now. Actually, I do kind of hope that normal mode doesn't have exactly the same stuff as hard mode and that there's like a hard mode version of drops but let's see face the sanctum for the chance to acquire a multitude of powerful new rewards including the tier 95 dual wield magic weapons which i am insanely excited for and i actually have quite a, quite a bit of gp so far we'll need to do more hard mode increases your chance at finding these rewards as well as a couple of hard mode exclusive drops okay cool uh we'll let you uncover more. so wait hold on is normal mode gonna drop dual wield magic weapons tier 95 magic weapons really it's kind of cool like okay so i was just saying i hope that the hard mode had like it does hard mode increases your chance to find these rewards but it also has a couple of hard mode exclusive drops which is cool it makes hard mode worth it because this is what volkath kind of like sucked with right like it made volkath not feel worth but the tier 95 is on normal mode that's kind of i can't it's kind of cool man these probably um aren't going to be the most insanely expensive things then maybe although hard mode does increase your chances of finding it so maybe it's like something like zamorak where you can still get bow pieces in normal mode zami but like very very unlikely right it could be like that that you have the chance of getting them but it's super rare until we have drop rates we don't know but this makes it sound like they're dropping normal mode and you have a better chance in hard mode um like that's kind of how it sounds to me but either way i think this is a good idea uh will you uncover what rewards wait in sanctum on release day good cool like it we already know we're getting something to upgrade our um other tier 95 weapons i think they talked about that to like tier 98 or something like that um did they did they did mention that i think a while back i don't know if they've scrapped it and not talked about it since or if we are still going to get that but either way each slain boss will earn new rewards from the sanctum of rebirth's boss drop table progressing deeper into the sanctum increases your chance to find more powerful rewards okay uh with full with a full three boss clearing providing access to additional completion drop table that is super interesting i like this a lot so every time you kill the boss you access the drop table from the bosses it has like there's one drop table each time you kill those three bosses so if you kill the first one you have the same drop table as if you kill the second one it seems progressing deeper into the sanctum though increases your chance to find the more powerful rewards so boss two probably has more drop rate than boss one um, or maybe yeah yeah that makes sense right uh, and then once you've killed all three you get an additional drop table which maybe includes the hard mode maybe you have to have the end of it to to get the the 295 weapons maybe to clear it maybe not um maybe the extra drop table is just gonna be like extra loot or other stuff we'll have to see but either way i like this i like this idea a lot because it, it actually rewards you for progressing through the dungeon properly um this is cool yeah uh, what do you guys think about this? I think this is it sounds really nice. When can I find out more? We're trying uh, something different, a little different with this update. By backing off on the tell-all approach, we usually take near release. There is a magic in that discovery of day one update, so we're testing some changes to our communication to see how it goes, which I, as we talked about, and I kind of like it as well. As with the right-click examine series alongside the development, this won't affect all information released uh, to involve player feedback. Snap pre with Kicker okay, Google. Well, we drop a few extra uh, tidbits in the run up to release you'll hear more details on the sanctum on release day so basically this is probably the last we're going to hear about the sanctum until um the actual release which is, is fine i think it's i think it's fine i think it's good even i'm mega excited at uh, this post is kind of like i, I you made it even more exciting for me i don't i don't know about you guys but I am me I'm super looking forward to this. It might just be because we've not had some like big content for a while, but bro, I'm I'm super keen. I'm I'm looking forward to it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you, are you excited about this too? Are you ready for this? Are you prepared? We don't have anything really for me to be like. Oh, this is how you're gonna prepare for the boss. I'll probably still do a video where I'm like make a preset. Um, probably about it, right? This probably, if I, maybe I don't make a video on that. There's probably not any point. 
if, if I can think of some stuff to throw together, then I'll make a video on preparing for it and how I'm going to prepare. But otherwise, this is pro probably just the basic preset with Ring of Death and like the regular PVM stuff and then go from there on day one. But let me know what you guys think. I'm super interested and I'll catch you all in the next one. Catch you later, guys. Bye.